In DBL, we make our own city with a group of people, and we have to decide the government, we have to decide transportation, location, everything like that to help make our city thrive. And sometimes there are conflicts between group members, so we have to be able to think outside the box and be open to each other's ideas. It's not, it's not definitely not the easiest thing to do, but it does help you challenge yourself to become a better thinker, uh, become a, come up with better strategy, and it helps you learn how to collaborate with other people. To get you up, get you involved with your peers, do stuff that are never before seen, gets you thinking critically and think outside the box. I personally was struggling in the beginning of it because I didn't know what to do, I couldn't think creatively. But then as soon as I got used to it, I got more involved, I got the feel with it, I actually got better and I improved in it with uh, the children's book we have done and that made me think creatively, it made me think something that's never before seen. I went above and beyond with that book. Uh, DBL is probably like one of the unique things I've done. Uh, I personally think it's a great thing to do. In my opinion, DBL project is a good idea for ELD students like me as well. It's because they can practice their English very well and for our group, we need to collaborate together in order to get a good grade. And I've experienced here in ELD the DB, DBL project is taught you how to communicate not only for ELD students, it also help you to communicate to other people. This could either be a gateway to the submerged road, or this could be like a like row housing. Oh, house? <laughs> I, I think it should be housing. Really? I think it could be nice. So that's, so that's, so that's a residential. Yeah, I think it would be nice to have a residential section along the top way. Uh, the teacher then continues with the curriculum. This is not a replacement of the curriculum. The teacher can now introduce vocabulary, give students sentence frames to have these rich discussions. As students are building, they're constantly describing and posing questions and clarifying their ideas. As they're developing, we're not leaving behind the curriculum. Uh, for an English teacher, they're introducing the literature that goes along with these, uh, these projects, for example, they make a city, we're going to compare it to 1984. Uh, again, the students are engaged throughout the unit rather than waiting at the very end. Um, it has done just wonders in my classroom. I have very minimal um, discipline issues or even absenteeism because students feel they are accountable for their team. And so, uh, again, I don't think I would ever go back to teaching in a traditional way. My students are class leaders in my, uh, in my room. They have jobs, and so it becomes their classroom, not just mine.